Cutting a straight and square line with a circular saw, that can't be too hard, can it? Or is it? G'day folks, Uncle Nackers here. Now if you can relate to what you've just seen, don't panic, just relax, because we've all been there and done that. So let's kick off the new year, 2021, on the right foot, making it the year of the square cut by building a quick and easy, straight, square cutting jig type thingy that'll have you cutting like a pro in no time at all. Let's do it. Now one popular and very effective option for cutting a straight and square cut, which a lot of people opt for, is the use of a speed square, which is what I'm using here. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job of cutting a straight and square line. Now mine's only a little fella coming in at seven inches. You can buy them all the way up to 12 inches, but what if the piece of wood that you're trying to cut is actually bigger than the speed square that you have. I'll tell you where you are. You're up the creek without a canoe and that's where the SC1000 makes an appearance. Hang on a sec, was I meant to say up the creek without a paddle and not a canoe? Let me know down below. Yeah, I think it is paddle, up the creek without a paddle. Sounds right. Or canoe. I need a coffee. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to grab yourself a sheet of ply, then two aluminium angles, a handful of pan head screws, and a handle of some description, which really is just an optional extra. And I'll leave a list of those materials with their dimensions down beneath this video, just in case you need to check those out. And while you're here, make sure you stick around, as a little later I'll be sharing the link to my eight essential circular saw tips for the beginner, which I think you will find very useful. Now the benefit of using plywood for this project is that off the shelf, plywood comes with a factory finish or a factory edge, which simply means that in the factory, the sheets are cut nice and square. As you can see here, just like that, which is really important for this jig to work properly. Now you can make this jig basically any size you like. It's all up to you and we're going to be doing it in five simple steps. The first thing we need to do with the saw unplugged or the battery removed is lift the guard and then rest the blade hard up against the edge of the plywood. Now with that blade hard up against the edge of the plywood, come around to the back of the saw's base plate, which is all the way over here, and then with your pencil, mark a line along the back edge of that base plate, and then do the same thing down the other end of the plywood. Now with our smaller section of angle, place that on our fresh new marks, just like that. And then come up from the bottom, about 100 millimeters or four inches, and then on the back edge, mark that line. Done. Hold the phone folks, I'm making a bit of a change. Instead of coming up the original 100 millimeters or four inches, I'm sizing the cut down to 75 millimeters, which is about three inches. Sorry about that. Now with that cutting guide that comes with your circular saw, we need to set that back roughly 75 millimeters or about three inches away from the blade. With the saw set up and raring to go, we now need to cut out this section of plywood. Now there's a very important reason why I'm doing that and I'll explain why shortly.
Next on the agenda, we need to grab the second length of angle, the one with the larger profile. We'll place that on top of the plywood, hard up against the first piece of angle, just like that. Then we'll cut that to length using a hacksaw, then drive in some screws to hold that firmly in place. Speaking of driving things, did you hear the one about the two nuns who were driving down a dark and isolated road in Transylvania? Fair dinkum, how crazy, when all of a sudden a great big scary vampire jumps out in front of the car. So one nun says to the other, show me across. So she winds down a window, leans out and says, Oi, get out of the way you toothy git. <laughs> yeah, a bit confused. She thought um, angry cross and not um, crucifix cross. So. Easy mistake to make under the circumstances. So yeah. It worked, apparently, so all good. Yeah. Can't trust those pesky vampires. No sorry. And as you can see now, we've made ourselves a big, beautiful square cutting jig. Now to make this a bit lighter and to jazz it up a little bit, I might just cut an angle or two on this give it a bit of a paint job and then I'll come back and I'll explain why we cut out this section of plywood. Okay, let's just screw this handle on and then we'll go ahead, give it the big test, see how it goes. Exciting. Beautiful. Looks good. Okay, let's just place the old SC1000 on top of the sheet that we're about to cut, hard up against the bottom, and then we'll have a quick chat about the reasoning behind that extended section there. This section of angle sits hard up against the bottom of our sheet, whereas this section of angle extends past the bottom of our sheet. Which simply means that more of your base plate is in contact with the angle, therefore giving you better control as you enter the cut. Okay, let's test this square cutting jig thingy out. First of all, we need to line up the edge of our jig here to our mark over there. Just like that. Right, oh, let's go. Okay, let's see how we went. Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Alrighty, here we go. That is looking absolutely perfect. How good's that? Now that is an absolute little ripper. Great tip, Nakaza! Hey, check this out. About two minutes ago on this scorching hot summer's day, I was enjoying a frozen zooper duper and I chipped my front tooth. Oh, it's chipped. <laughs> Not happy. That's gotta be the world's most expensive Zooper Duper. Not happy. Not at all. Now, if you wanna see more videos just like that one, make sure you check out my eight essential circular saw tips for beginners video, which should be popping up over there just about now. Hope to see you there shortly. Alrighty, after all that, I've gotta to go to the dentist. So till next time, be good, be safe, and I'm out of here. Cheers. Can't believe I broke my tooth. <laughs>